Hey guys, Giselle here. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a real hot minute since I've been on here. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm here to address today, basically, while I do my hair. So let's sit and chat and do our hair together and talk about some stuff, I guess. Yeah. So I'm not like going through what I'm going to be doing to my hair. I'm just doing my hair. <laughs> but I just wanted to basically just come on here and chat about why, what, who, when, where, and why. Actually, I need to change out of this robe because it gets in the way a lot when I do my hair. So I'm going to go do that real quick. But yeah, lately I have been just not feeling it as far as doing uh, YouTube stuff, making videos, tutorials, um, and things like that. Simply off of the fact that I've always kind of felt like that about YouTube. Like, I've always kind of been hesitant to, like get online and tell people what I'm doing with my hair and things like that just because I've always kind of felt like that way like for people to kind of like idolize my hair and say that it's hair goals and then ask me like what I'm doing with my hair when I don't even know what I'm doing with my hair sometimes but as of recently the beginning of this year I really wanted to kind of like take a step back and really like relearn my hair in a sense um i just kind of just i don't know i just want to like relearn my hair what it needs um what it's doing if it's healthy or not healthy so i've kind of been working on that so i've been kind of hesitant to come onto here and like share certain things with you guys because I'm still learning, like I'm, I'm learning about my hair. Um, I don't know everything. And I mean, to be real, like I'm not a hair stylist. I'm not a hair professional. Um, you know, a lot of us here on YouTube are not hair professionals. And starting out, you know, in the beginning, in the very beginning, when I first went natural, this is, this is the platform where I learned how to care for my hair, where a lot of us really learned about our hair, especially because when I went natural was really when the movement kind of started back in 2012. So that's when everybody was kind of going natural and people were doing it on YouTube and stuff like that. So that's where I came. This is where I came to learn about my hair, stuff like that. I didn't go to a natural hairstylist or anything like that because they didn't exist back then, really. So, yeah. So... As of lately, I've been like just like I don't I don't I'm, I wouldn't call it like doing research, but I have been following a lot more um, curly hair professionals and um, on Instagram and on YouTube, um, and just really just relearning things that I thought I knew, I thought I had an idea about you know, via here on YouTube, whatever I learned in the beginning when I first, um, my journey with my hair. But really, I've just been like relearning things, um, honestly, and just like rediscovering things and, and like taking what I am learning from these professionals and applying it to my life and like being like, oh, well, I thought my hair was this or I did it really think to like think, find that out about my hair um which kind of led me to make the porosity video that was my like most recent video so that video was really the start of this new journey that i'm on with um relearning my hair and learning its needs and figuring out you know what's best for it and things like that when you subscribe to somebody on youtube like you're Basically, you know, you're following them, you're interested in what's going on in their lives and what they're sharing and things like that. So I've just been kind of uncomfortable with sharing certain things when I don't know, you know, if you're coming to me for hair advice and I am, I'm doing something that's working for me and it may not work for you, like I feel bad. <laughs> like, I'm gonna feel bad about it because obviously if you're, if you're coming to me for some advice, and you're looking at my hair and thinking that it's all that and you want my hair 
you want your hair to look like mine, then I feel some sort of like responsibility. Like, well, dang, like that didn't work for you. I don't really know what to tell you. So that's why I've been like, kind of like, eh, on making YouTube videos because one, I haven't been doing much with my hair except like just paying attention to it more and stuff like that. I haven't been like experimenting. Well, I have been, but in like good ways. <laughs> And two, I just like, bro, I'm not a professional. Like I'm trying to figure out what works for me, for my hair. And I think with this whole, the curly hair community, a lot of us like simply don't know like the, the basics of our hair. And it's like now if you're getting into it, you see people with, you know, hair that you want yours to look like theirs, but it may not work out like that. And so you might be following somebody because your goal is to is for your hair to look like theirs, but it's all it it, it just may not work out like that simply like based off of like science and facts and how your hair is built. Because your hair is a part of your body. <laughs> like, yeah, it's dead cells, but it's still a part of your body. So for you to follow somebody else's like routine or recommendations that they do on their body, on their hair, may not work out so well for you. And it's, it can, it's not that person's fault and it's not your fault. That's just like, basically it is what it is. So what I'm focusing on now is like really getting the basics together because once you know the basics and by the basics I mean like what makes up curly hair so your porosity level um the density of your hair the texture of your hair and by texture I mean if your hair is fine medium or coarse not your curl pattern so by knowing the basics like those are like basically the building blocks <laughs> by knowing the building blocks of your hair then that'll kind of help guide you to into knowing like what type of products you need um like whether you need moisturizing products whether you need lightweight products um whether you need to deep condition every week because you don't have enough moisture whether you need a protein treatment um because more than likely unless you've bleached your hair or done a lot of heat damage you don't need a protein treatment and a lot of people don't realize that so i've just been like you know basically just doing my research um really just listening to professionals people that do hair curly hair like all the time <laughs> and you know following their instructions and seeing what they recommend and seeing what it is that they're talking about because i'd rather hear it from somebody who went to school and basically does it on a daily than a YouTuber. And that's not like any sort of shade or whatever to anybody because obviously I'm here on YouTube, so I guess I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't know everything, so I don't feel comfortable sharing something if I don't know everything. And I realized that some of the videos that I've made, I've done them not really thinking about that type of stuff. like. Huh, could this not work on somebody like could this harm somebody's hair just because I didn't know all of the different components that make up hair so now it's just going forward if I do decide to make more videos I just want to be basically like more conscious of what it is that I'm putting out there what recommendations it is that I'm putting out there so now like now that you guys know I'm medium porosity right so if I recommend something for you and you are not medium porosity or like not even close to medium porosity, then it's not for you, sis. Like it's just, it's simply not for you. And so that's kind of what, like what I want to get across. It's like, yeah, I want to share like my, my experience with you guys and like what I'm doing on my hair. But I also want you guys to realize that like, if we don't have these similar kind of building blocks to our hair like if you have high high porosity and i have medium porosity and you're doing things that i'm doing then yeah it's not gonna work out <laughs> but, but i don't want to feel responsible for that because like 
it's not my fault. Like, that's basically just how our hair is. It's different. So, that's kind of what I'm, like, uh, getting to at this point. So, this isn't, like, new information that's out there. You know, like, none of this is new. It's just some of it is kind of, like, misconstrued because, like, it's the internet. You, you can write anything on the internet. You can post anything on the internet and really nobody can fact check you. But... I am going to fact check myself before I post anything on the internet because that that's just that's just the type of person that I want to be. So that's kind of like me getting back into the swing of things and doing this whole like relearning my hair journey. So if you want to take the journey along with me, you know, great. If you don't and you kind of wanna, you're kind of like, well, whatever. I know it works for my hair. I don't want to learn anything new or, you know, I'm not open to, um, like, I'm not open to revisiting topics that I thought I knew. Um, then, you know, by all means, do you, do you, boo? it's not my hair source. You know, like those things on Twitter going around now, like unpopular opinion. First of all, those tweets are not annoying. Some of them. But, um. So I saw, you know, there was unpopular um, opinion, um, natural hair edition, right? And somebody tweeted, um, like, natural hair is not as hard as you think it is or, you know, like, just like, it's, it's really not that hard or whatever. And I kind of agree with that. <laughs> I think that certain people, like, you're making it harder than what it is, but at the same time, it's probably not all your fault. It's probably because you may not like know truly what your hair needs are. Um, and you may be using products that are not the best for your hair. Therefore, your hair is not as healthy as it, as it could be. And so like I think about that and it's like, well, dang, like I want to like I, I want to help whoever I can help so like what I've been doing anybody who asks me like oh like you know I love your hair what do you use and things like that I don't tell them what I use because more than likely that's not going to help them anyway what I'm saying is is that I want to help y'all figure out your hair instead of me telling you what I'm using in my hair and thinking that that's gonna help you solve your problems like that's not that's not how it's gonna work so that's why I'm like you know I want to put out a series of videos that's just talking about the basic building blocks of hair and how you can figure out where your hair like falls into for certain categories that way you know what products to try for yourself instead of just following what I'm doing or what somebody else is doing because I look like you, they look like you, my hair looks like your hair, our hair looks like, because that, it's not, it's not just based off of like the visuals, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, my hair could look like your hair, but it could be a completely different like makeup, like internally. And you know, I know it's hard because our hair can't talk to us. And that sucks, that sucks. I wish I could have. But I can't, so we just have to do our best to like just look at it and be like, okay, sis, what are you on? Like, what's what's going on with you right now? How can I help? You know, being visual and things like that. And we'll get through it. We'll figure it out together. Me and you will figure it out together, right? Hi guys, I just wanted to come on here and say that you know I just feel like if I'm on this platform of YouTube and being an influencer and whatever. I just want to make sure that I am doing right by you guys. Those of you who like, I guess, keep up with me and stuff like that and who actually value my advice. Like, you know, I'm so grateful for you. Um, but you know, if, if you actually value what my opinions are on hair stuff and things like that, then I just want to give you the right tools and the right information and things like that. So that's basically what's been going on. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm still here, but I'm just trying to do, just trying to do the right thing. So yeah, um, I just wanted to let you guys know 
that that's going on and I will be making um, some more new videos within the coming weeks and they'll be a little bit more like educational type things not necessarily like tutorials but just letting y'all know helping y'all figure it out you know we're all trying to figure it out together even those of us who think we have it figured out we could probably still learn some more stuff because that's how I thought I was but my whole world has been like flipped so yeah um until next time thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe for my upcoming videos and i will talk to you in my next one bye